Point Weather 12 forecast. I think we're going to come pretty close to another record high temperature tomorrow. We broke the high temperature record earlier today. Then we're looking at some cooler weather to arrive for Election Day. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. Here's New Bedford. We are looking at uh, lots of clouds out there, but no showers, although we have had a couple of sprinkles off to our west. See this little batch of sprinkles trying to come in. That'll be about the worst of it for the next couple of hours. Maybe some showers hanging around first thing tomorrow morning, and then we should begin to clear out Tuesday. Nothing much going on other than much cooler weather arriving. Hey, we've had a couple of earthquakes this past weekend. One this morning in Laconia, New Hampshire, mainly felt right around there in Lake Winnipesaukee, Laconia area. Uh, Nantucket earlier on uh, Saturday afternoon uh, was felt in Fall River and New Bedford, magnitude 2.1. Just kind of interesting little note there. Here's a look at the city of Providence now. We've got some... Uh, a little haze there in the sky, 66, wind from the southwest, 10 miles an hour. Look at that, dew point, 63, very muggy by November standards. Low to mid 60s across all of southern New England. I don't think the temperatures are going to fall too much farther throughout the night. Lots of showers off to our west. This heavier stuff you see across New York State and up into uh, Vermont likely will be missing us. But we will have a cold front coming on through during the morning hours tomorrow. And the winds will be shifting into the west and Kind of bringing in some less humid air. Let's take a look at it. Hour by hour forecast taking you right into your Monday morning. Couple of showers around and that's about it. Skies clearing out for the afternoon. Those winds turn into the west. Humidity drops, but still pretty toasty for November standards. We're looking at highs maybe approaching 80 in some spots tomorrow afternoon. So here's how the school day breaks down. Maybe a spot shower in the morning. But look at these temperatures. 60s to around 70s, maybe shorts weather. Even in the afternoon, mid 70s. And as, as I mentioned, some spots could be up around 80 degrees. Let's pinpoint things for you. Low to mid mid 70s along the south coast. Westerly wind will keep even the south coastal communities pretty warm. Inland areas mid to upper 70s, maybe around 80 in a few spots. 75 Coventry, West Warwick, Warwick, Cranston, Providence, all around 77. Taunton and Freetown and New Bedford all topping out about 77 degrees as well. Let's take a quick look at the tropics. We're monitoring this cluster of clouds and showers down here. Could threaten Florida in the coming days as a tropical system that rain associated with it will be arriving in our area later in the week, perhaps late Friday and into Saturday. But short term, looking at a shower tomorrow, skies clearing out, really warm in the afternoon, but the humidity will be dropping Tuesday. Kind of a cool start to Election Day in the 30s, but the day looks dry and breezy. And then uh, Wednesday still kind of cool. Then we slowly begin to warm back up. And we want to make sure we heard you right. Possibly an 80 tomorrow. Possibly 80 in some spots tomorrow afternoon. We've only hit 80 once before in November. We could do it again tomorrow. All righty. Thanks so much.